Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life back here with Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, Snake Eater. We have, didn't do a lot last video, but I'm really, really hoping that I don't have to shoot the Karatans that I already got in areas. Otherwise, I've missed a couple, but that's okay. We'll make it through one way or another. We'll find out together. Um, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move forward. We are at this bridge. They're looking for me. I can't see. Oh, that's right. I don't have a gun. Huh? Over there? That's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Ah, I wish I had a gun. <laughs> Am I gonna need a gun for this? Patrol here. We've lost sight of the enemy. Commence alert formation. Oh, I don't need a gun. The enemy is still nearby. Pursue and engage him. Happened. I thought it was Charlie. No. He thought it was Charlie too. <laughs> and we got a chap grenade. That's awesome. So that's everyone we need to take care of here. Uh, we do have a. Oh, hello. <laughs> that just happened. And they're probably both still alive now. Who's that? I mean, I can cross this bridge without falling off of it like an idiot. What happened was I actually took my eyes off of the screen to talk to you. I need a gun for that one. I don't know if I got that one, so we'll probably be back. Is there anything I can pick up here? There is. We want to go this way. Because there's a new camouflage. Life Med Uniform Raindrop. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Alright, um, that's it for this one. We're going to go to the next area. Where hopefully I'll get my guns. I will get my gun. I'll get a gun. What the heck are you laughing at? Charlie. He saw me about to flip a burger and he backed up. 
slowly. Like I don't know what mom's doing, but I'm scared. This is the last time he was over here and I was doing that. He dropped it. Okay. And he was right here. Okay, so there's some good stuff here. We're going to grab something and I'm going to go shoot something. I know that makes no sense. Um, so, I already got the one over here. Is it not there nowhere? Ooh, did it move? Is there a second one? Ooh, that makes me think I need to go back and get the other ones. It did move. Oh, I don't like that it moved. That makes me feel like I need to go backwards and grab the other ones. Uh, right, so we got an AK-47. I don't think it comes with a silencer. Oh, I gotta hook it up. Oh, I feel like I gotta get the other ones. What I'll do is when I get to an end point of this, uh, or next video, God dang it. Well, we got that one. Dang, that makes me feel like I, I need to go back and get the other ones because they might have moved. Start of the next video, I'll go back and get all the ones that I didn't get, and I'll just kind of make it a quick uh, video so that you guys can see that. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, we got some more stuff to grab. I got bug juice. is that that's a big snake all right get up sir get on the sir We got a cardboard box. For those that don't know, that means I can hide in a cardboard box. That's awesome. Um, it's a classic thing for this series, if you don't know. Um, you can actually fast travel and stuff. You know, uh, directly behind Sokolov's room, it says there is a new face. Is that like a bullfrog or something? We have zombie face paint. So not really good for anything except for looking kind of cool. But we'll take that. Um, all right, so there's only really one more thing to get here. I feel like there's some animals here. Hold on. Um, give me a second. I've got three different guides I'm using, so just know. Uh, sounds like a bullfrog. It doesn't say that there is, so we're going to go ahead and ignore it. Okay. I don't know what it is, but we're going to ignore it. We're going to go in here. Before you leave here, check right here. And a 
thermal goggles. Okay, we're gonna do some funny stuff because why not? All right, so we're gonna go to camouflage. And we're gonna call him with no shirt on. Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Close. Huh? I am the expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting edge technology. Uh, I'm the guy that designed your hey, tracking, active sonar, and motion detect. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. They couldn't have got someone with a little bit of a southern accent? Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Ah. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. I took it to work. Snake, what's up? Why are you naked? There we go. I know there's a naked option under uniform that lets you take off the upper part of your uniform. But without a shirt on, your camouflage sucks and your stamina goes down faster. You don't get any advantages whatsoever. Sure there are. Like what? It feels good. Man, you do whatever you want. <laughs> I will, thanks. Just one question, though. What? Is there a way to take off my pants? Say what? My pants, can I? Oh, hell no. This Fox unit is a nut fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was worth it. Hold on. We're not done. Oh, we got more. All right, so I want to put back my shirt. <laughs> that was really cool. All right, here we go. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. I mean, that makes and sense. it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you find in swamps. Come on, give me the funny one. Snake, your face paint is... I know. It's called zombie. Zombie? What does that mean? Beats me. Are you serious? Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? I mean, zombies weren't no. very popular back then. Never. You guys don't know anything. <laughs> of course a zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. It's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to labor even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all movies. this stuff? I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Classic. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. I don't think I've seen Missed that. it. You can't just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. Agreed. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. Doesn't it? 
Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. Okay, one more. All right, I gotta equip it. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. I don't see it. All right, Charlie. Uh, Snake, what are you doing? I'm in a box. A cardboard box? Why are you... I don't know. I was just looking at it, and suddenly I got this irresistible urge to get inside. No, not just an urge. More than that. It was my destiny to be here. In the box. Destiny? Yeah. And then when I put it on, I suddenly got this feeling of inner peace. I can't put it into words. I feel safe. Like this is where I was meant to be. Like I'd found the key to true happiness. Uh-huh. Does any of that make sense? No. Not even a little. You <laughs> should come inside the box. Then you'll know what I mean. Man, I don't want to know what you mean. Between you and paramedic, is everyone but me that is hooked up with the Major Strange? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, anyway, I suppose even that dumbass box might make a decent disguise if you wear it inside a building. Okay, that was all worth it. All right. All right, let's go ahead and leave. <laughs> Are you in a box? I found peace. Is Snake a cat? We might end after this video, I don't know yet. We're gonna have to do longer videos, I think. What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? Oh, God. What happened to Adam? 
Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. You want to... And you were. Is it smoky in here? I yes. can't really tell. Why? Huh? Is it smoky because in here or am I Because I can do things he can't. I will open the door for a second? I heard you used to be a code breaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Place. Around here. Even that's hard to Sorry. come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Babe. That's gonna... 45, huh? the smoke alarm. Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? I think it's fine. The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced. And the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. I think he's in love. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers. And there are more well, where that came from. All right, I'm almost done. Just this, we'll do one more thing at the end of this video and then I'm done. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. I'll take two. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Kind of cool. Right. Let's get going. Wait a minute. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down.
What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Gonna get that? Actually, this is gonna be it. After this, I'm gonna cut it. She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Oh, shit. Oh. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, right, so this is a perfect place to stop because it makes me save, which I'm appreciative of. So until next time, we'll go to continue. Um, adios,